Hi YouTube, I'm here with my uh, ZT knife. Now, this is not the review. I will put a link to the review in the description box. This video is going to be just showing you a quality control issue that I had with a particular one I received. Um, it has been fixed, all right, the, uh, the issue has been fixed, but my knife arrived with a fairly visible chip in the blade uh, on the edge, right out of the box. I didn't cut anything with it. I noticed it immediately. So yeah, and I, I did sharpen it out. I was able to fix it. Um, but before I fixed it, I did take some video footage just to document it in case I was not able to fix it or chose to return it later. The footage is muted because before I fixed it, I was a lot more angry and there were some profanities that you guys don't need to hear. So I muted the clip and I put some silly YouTube music that they let us use for free on it. All right, but now that I fixed it, I'm not really angry anymore. So here's that footage. Okay, so there you go. How do you fix that? Well, you have to sharpen it. You have to remove a little bit of metal until, you know, all the metal around it, you know, takes out that chip. I hate to do that with a brand new knife. I hate to take off, you know, that however much metal. I mean, it's not a huge amount, but still. But hopefully I did an okay job. I don't know if you can see where it was fixed, but... You know, I think it's all right now. You see that? I think it's all right now, but uh, yeah, that that's kind of disturbing that I had to do that. As for how I think that could have happened, I don't know, man. I mean, you would think that once they inspect it, they put it in the box and that's it. I mean, I don't think anyone's supposed to touch it after it's inspected. And you know these have to be inspected with the price of this knife and the limited numbers they make. I mean, this had to have been inspected and it's not something that could have been missed by a trained person. You know, my guess is that they did inspect it, they probably caught it, and they probably marked it as what's called a blemish or a blem, or a factory second, or sometimes called a scratch and dent. Um, but apparently they must have put it in the wrong pile. They must have put it in the pile with the, um, you know, mint ready for sale stuff. You know, that's the only thing I can think of. I think it was just put in the wrong pile. It was miscategorized. And here's the box mine came in. You see it's, it's marked ZT2. ZT2. The reason I made this video separate from the review is because I'm pretty certain that I just had some bad luck. I don't think it, you know, I don't think it's typical. And so I didn't want to basically contaminate the review by judging every copy of this knife by the one that I got that was probably bad luck. Now somebody's going to say, why didn't you just return it? You know, the store that I bought it from was sold out. So if I returned it, they couldn't replace it for who knows how long. And I'm a gear reviewer. I have to get this stuff out there. I can't wait, you know, wait and wait because people request the review. Just in order to get out that review for you guys, it was just better for me to just fix it myself. And so, yeah, so that's it. Well, regrettable video, but I just had to be honest. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.